Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I am Lacey Ingrao and this is the Transpersonal Beekeeper. Today, we talk about creating and crossing a threshold. What that looks like in our apiary and what that looks like in our lives. There is such a beauty and awareness to be found. Not only with working with honeybees, but out in nature altogether. We know that there is a significant benefit, not only for us, but then in return for the earth, for the honeybees, for the world in which we live. This time in the apiary brings a variety of experiences and such is life a variety of experiences happening all the time. And within this life, this one precious life that we get to live, there are transitions happening regularly, like concentric circles, this one big circle being you, and there's all these other circles that tie around it. That make up your story, your life. Some of these transitions are forced, and some of them are chosen. All of them encompass this idea of loss, grief within transitions, there is this inherent loss. In chosen transitions, there are these elements of celebration oftentimes, or rites of passage. And modern day rites of passage may be graduations, when we think about graduations or finishing basic training. And within this idea of a rite of passage, there is often an identifier, a crossing. And that crossing is a, a threshold that signifies movement from one space to another. <clears throat> and that's what we're talking about today, creating that threshold, creating that space that signifies you moving from one space to another. If you've had the pleasure of going into an apiary, we know that when we move into that space with all of the mental movement, the mental work that, that comes from living our lives. When we're coming in with the mind moving very quickly, thinking about what we have to do, what we've been doing, rather than that moment of mindfulness when we can connect with this very extraordinary being. There's a difference. There's a, there's a shift in the way that we connect with them, in the way that they um, behave, in their level of activity. When we move into the apiary with all of the things that life is throwing at us, it can create tension in that connection. And by creating a threshold, we create intention. Setting that space setting our intentions for how we want to be with that organism, that being. 
This is not only valuable with honeybees, but in most of our relationships around us. If you are creating a threshold with a group of people, a group of beings, each participant can bring an offering to the threshold, which adds value to that intention. It adds mindfulness to the space that you're creating. This uh, experience can be a community event a community offering. We allow our feet to feel into the ground, to connect into the ground. You may be standing there, but just become aware of that connection. Maybe for you, a song is what brings you mindfulness. Maybe it's the beekeeper's breath that we had uh, practiced together in previous months. A grounding in, a, an, an initiation of that connection. At that point, provide your offering. Maybe you've brought something. Maybe you're collecting something from the surrounding area to lay in the space. This offering can be attached to our intention, connected to our intention. It can further feed our intention. But lay your offering, provide your offering to the space that you're attempting to create, giving gratitude for what it provides, what it offers, and for simply being there. From here, we set our intentions. Maybe we say this out loud. Maybe it's silently to ourselves. There is no rule book for this. How do we find greater mindfulness in the apiary? How do we find greater connection? In and out of the apiary. Set your intention. You'll see that we bow before entering the apiary, before crossing over our threshold. This is, of course, completely optional. We bow to offer reverence to the land and to the bees and to this connection that we're building with one another. As you are working with intention, just think about how you want the next moments to look, what you want that connection to be like. How do you want to interact with the land and the bees? That's our intention. And it can be as simple as awareness of the senses, more breath, Setting an intention is also a wonderful way to bring us back to that present moment, to apply the mindfulness that we wish to have while working with our bees. As you finish your time in the apiary, we have the opportunity to exit the same way we entered. Crossing that threshold with reverence, with appreciation, and potentially setting that intention again or a, an entire new one, entire, an entirely new intention for crossing back over into our lives. What kind of mindfulness do you want to bring back? Deeper connections with our partners, deeper connections with our family members, friends, maybe the land, maybe our own personal bodies.
This becomes a practice. It becomes a um, something we come back to time and time again. And as we practice it, it only increases our opportunities, our, our experience of mindfulness and of awareness of ourselves and how we react, behave, interact, and connect with these other beings, bees or otherwise. Creating and crossing a threshold is completely optional. But it gives us a really beautiful moment to be with ourselves, to be with the land. And to create a greater, greater connection, a deeper connection. Thank you for being with me today. Taking time to increase breath, mindfulness, and awareness of the self and how we interact with the rest of the world. May your time in the apiary and in this precious existence of our lives, may it be very, very sweet. Be well, friends. <laughs>